Hi all, welcome back. It's Fleur from Fleurs by Design. I'm doing a Project 365 catch-up today. Life has been kicking me in the butt and I have not had time to do pretty much any scrapbooking. It's kind of been sad. All I've done really is what I've been showing you on my videos. Um, so I am doing another Project 365 catch-up and we are working on June and July. And I didn't have any, um, if you've been watching my previous videos, I've been doing them all with the 2x2 two two sheets. And I don't have any 2x2 two two sheets left, so for this uh, next two months, I'm going to, till I can order some more, I'm going to use the Project Life Size, which is 3x4. And um, all I did for my photos is do them at 1.5 wide so that it fits in a three by four pocket so you can make them a bit longer to um to two inches long but they have to be uh, one and a half inches wide so that when you have two together like this um, they will fit in a uh, three by four pocket so basically that's what i did for this month is i put four pictures together um, to fit in each of the pockets and instead of doing it the way i was doing it which i didn't have to use a lot of pattern paper or anything uh, this time i'm going to have to put some pattern paper behind them and I can actually do more decorating which might be kind of fun so let me cut these out so that they look nice and I'll be back to show you how I start entering them into the so uh, I used the uh, pink paisley uh, this is the Paige Evans fancy free collection um, the paper and I just thought it kind of had the same colors that are on the pages and it has a nice soft neutral as well so it would kind of go it's hard when you're doing a lot of pictures like this um, to make it work with the pattern paper so I'm just going to add um, a little bit like that you won't see a lot of the pattern paper poking out um, so that will be kind of what it will look like and then we'll just add the other um, the other photos I think it went like that so you'll see some of the pink and then I can decorate that with stickers or put on the dates or just use something else I'm probably going to use the yellow numbers for this one um, and I also have some fun, um, which I might use the black one of the number clips that I got from Ikea. So I'll go through there and see if maybe I can add one of the clips to um, this as well, just for some decoration. So I'll be back once I get those laid out and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so I think I've got the photos all glued down and I've started adding all the numbers you can see and I've written out the uh, 30 days there and I added just a strip of pattern paper that goes with this collection along the bottom there. Uh, I am now going to go in and add um, maybe some of these little hearts um, just to kind of give it, since we have a yellow happy down here, I think I'll add a little yellow heart there. And usually when I add like one heart, um, I usually like to add, you know, another one um, somewhere else. So I think I'll take one of the little yellow hearts and add it by this memories. And so I have maybe one that I'll do over here and maybe I'll do the other little, maybe do the another yellow one over here, kind of um, so it's like a triangle. And then I'm also going to add some, um, I have some, some of these bigger uh, little, um, epoxy stickers so I'm going to add um, I thought I would do three so I'll add those two and then I'll add a smaller yellow one down here and I also have these most favorite stickers I don't think the most favorite will work because it's too yellowy I think this layout so I think I'm going to leave those um, I do have um, the only place I feel like I'm missing something is on this one here so I was thinking I could use a clip or um, let's see I have a little camera clip I don't know if that would work because um, they slide in from the side I could move that six let's try that and put that there so I'm going to open these up and these are from American Crafts and the, the what I really like about these clips is that the clip is an actual clip so uh, a lot of the decorative paper clips um, don't actually have like a little clip so it, they're kind of hard sometimes to get on your uh, layouts and stuff but this one is an actual clip and you just clip it on like that so I think I'll add that there 
Um, I think I'm going to have to add it to the outside of the pocket because I don't think that's going to fit in the pocket then. Uh, this little frame is from the Pink Paisley collection and I'm just hoping it's going to fit in the pocket with the little frame on. It was 3x4, I measured it, but it's kind of tight so I might have to trim that down. And I don't mind trimming things down um, if I have to. Uh, I'll just kind of do a little bit off each side to kind of make the frame look similar on each side. So I've just taken a very thin strip from each side of this frame and cut it off. And then that'll allow it to fit in my pocket. So I'm going to put that in there and then I'll put the um, paper clip on the outside like that. And the rest of them I think are pretty much done so I'm just going to slide them into their pockets. Um, that's one of the things I don't like about doing 3x4 is that sometimes the pockets, even though they're supposed to be 3x4 because I measured these out 3x4, it's really tight sliding them in. But I think I've got it. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this one might be a bit too big. So let's just trim. And that's what I always just end up doing is just taking my scissors and trimming off just a very small part down the side so that it fits because I don't want it to really buckle or anything so I basically just trim it down to fit okay and I think for this clip no that's not gonna work even though it's a real clip it only goes like half you can see the end there stops there instead of going all the way in so I can't add that there so I will add I will find something else and add it there and then I'll show you how I do the second half in just a minute so I finished the back page and um, I used the most favorite. I had two photos left on this last one because there's only 30 days. So I decided because there were two of my favorite pictures that I would use that most favorite epoxy sticker. Um, and I love this. My son made the principal's list this year uh, for high school. And so my husband took him to his favorite place and said, you can order whatever you want. And then he sent me this panoramic picture of their table and it was literally covered in food. It was hilarious. And then this is one of my favorites because my son loves unicorns and we went to the beach and I had gotten him this uh, unicorn, um, what do they call it? Those blow up things. I got him one of those. So, and he loved it. So and June was all about recitals. Uh, we had a ton of recitals, uh, dance recitals, voice recitals. He's also going to be Buddy in Elf, so we're starting that. And I got to spend lots of time with my beautiful adopted daughters. And so um, the, the only thing I do at the very end is I add in the, the word stickers. So I'm going to grab some of those and I'm going to add them before I put them in the pockets for this one. Um, so I'm just going to see uh, what I can use for this one, and this one I think needs something else. So I'm going to put, um, how about just another ordinary day for this one, because, you know, just another ordinary day. It's not ordinary, but, um, and for this one, maybe, how about make today ridiculously amazing. I like that one because it's kind of a lot of fun photos on this one. And I might see if there's something I can add um, up here as well. So let's see if there's, um, let's see what we got here. I could do one of these black stickers and do, um, let's do it because it's there's two recital pictures on this one. So I'm going to use these black clear stickers and put let's do it up there. That kind of fills that in. That's much better. And then I think maybe I'll do the same down here. So I will put, um, let's do, let's do, 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 obsessed. Let's use the obsessed sticker. Because I'm obsessed with Lyndon playing. I love watching him. <laughs> We'll use that. It sounds good. So um, that's done. So I have, I will put these into the pockets and that is June all caught up. Thank goodness. I feel much better when I get caught up on things. So let's do these. That goes this way. So we're just going to stick them back into the pockets. And like I said, this basically is just a way for me to get my photos um, done as quick as possible so that I'm, oh, hold on. I want to make, want to make sure I got it right. Yeah, one. 
um, so that I can, oh, and I didn't put the numbers on, did I? So before I stick them in, let's do the numbers. So we ended off at number 16. I'm going to finish this off, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, so I'm all done. Um, so here is what the 2x2 two two looks like when I do the 2x2. Two two. I think I actually prefer it the 2x2, two two, so that's the 2x2 two two I did last month. And this is doing it in a 3x4 pocket page, and I don't like it as much as the 2x2. Two two. It still works. Um, if you prefer the 3x4 scrapbooking, uh, it still totally works. You'll just have to make your photos just a little bit smaller. And um, I did a couple, tried a couple different things. So this is just like a grid. This one was like a photo I did four in a row so I could do two and two and make it kind of more uneven and I actually prefer I think this way than doing it in the grid so I might do that for next time um, but you can just play around and see which way you prefer I definitely prefer the two by two but since I don't have any of those pockets I'll have to order some from scrapbook nerd this week and um, I will work on doing this is now July so for July, I decided just to print out all my photos onto one piece of paper, cut them out, and kind of lay them out how I wanted. I really, when I thought about it doing this way, I really preferred doing it kind of this way where it looked a little bit more off-centered. Um, this way just looked a little bit too grid-like for me. So I've just printed them all off. Um, we are now in July, so there's 31 photos. And I'm just going to do the same way I did here. So it has to be f uh, four photos in each pocket. The last pocket will have three, or one of them will have three. You can do it in whichever pocket you want. So I'm going to go ahead and write down everything. You don't need to sit through that. Cut up my photos and I'll be back to show you how I get them in there. So here's the final finished product. Um, I'm actually going to add just a few stickers over on this side. Um, maybe some of these cute hearts too. Since I've got the love you on this side we can maybe add just a few cute little hearts. I always try to do them in threes. So I'll just pick three colors and kind of put them there. We could maybe add you know, some arrows, just some of these cute little stickers here. Um, just to add a little bit more. And there we go. So I'll just do that. And so that is the month finished. And you can see again the 3x4, just a few uh, epoxy stickers. And um, I also used the um, these white stickers along with the clear black stickers and added some there as well. So Again, this is uh, July done, so I'm pretty caught up. Um, just the month of August. Right now it is um, towards the end of August, but August isn't finished yet, so I tend not to do these until the whole month is done. It's just easier to print them all on one piece of paper and get it done that way. So there you go, all done for July. So join me again in an probably another month or so. I'll have uh, a finish up of the August. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you guys again soon. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, or leave a comment below if you like to see anything else. Uh, I really enjoy doing these videos and hopefully we'll keep doing them for the rest of this year on every Friday. And once a month I do the Inspiration Fridays with Joy. So hopefully you will stop by for those too. Talk to you later. Bye.